Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you. So today we are doing a spinning seafood tower. <laughs> this is just something that I was just sitting at my desk yesterday and I'm like, I want to do something different. Is there any way I could get some stuff to move around? And, you know, so I bought this um, turntable which is usually seen at like weddings and different things like that. So I just thought it would be nice. Um, and then for today's drink, it's just, this is just today's drink, y'all. I don't have a name for it at all. Let me take a little sip. Mm. So I'm gonna say my grace and get started. All right, so we have some shrimp. Dungeness crab, king crab, lobster, and corn on the cob. Did I, did I put anything else? That's it. Yeah. So let's eat, y'all. Let's eat. I'm going to start off with the shrimp since that's the closest thing. Mm. All right, y'all. So I'm going to put my shells and stuff in front of me. I wouldn't normally do this, but... I have all this space, so I decided to use it. So I hope it don't bother anybody. But what's up? Are y'all see my little metallic tattoo? I like to um, wear these in the summertime. Let me pull my gift back so y'all can see that. But yeah, y'all, these are real fun to wear like in the summertime. And I have a bunch of them. I ordered them um, from Amazon. But the feathers, um, they're my favorite. So, mm, okay. We'll do some king crab. Y'all look at that. This is so good. Mm. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything today, y'all. So, I had a couple of you guys hit me up on my Instagram and on my Snapchat and said that um, I didn't get to your question. So, hmm. I decided to answer a few of them today. Um, now I don't remember the name, but if it's your question, just leave, leave me a comment. So, um, one girl asked me if you had to have like a lot of money to do seafood boils and where I live, no, um, Those of you that don't know, I live in Florida, so the seafood is pretty cheap here. Um, right today, I was able to get the king crab for um, $29. I just broke them up like it's a big king crab, but I just broke them up um, and put them on a little half shell today for today's presentation, sis. But they were, you know, the normal size king crab that I usually have. I'm going to take this corn down. Mm. Mm. This is the fresh corn. But I would say, let's just take king crab out of it. And we'll say like 
you can get you like some blue crowd. You can get like half a dozen of blue crowd. Probably like twelve, fifteen dollars. Um, then you can do some half a pound of shrimp. Like it's ways to do it and stay under fifty dollars and have a nice boil. Again, where I live because I live in Florida, I know seafood is really expensive in other places. Mm. The bag of crawfish that we get. That's only like $6.99. And they're really cheap to buy um, fresh. Snow crabs is usually like $12.99, $13.99 a pound. These lobsters, I paid $16 for two. So, I mean, it's, it's ways to do it. There's ways to stay under $50 if you need to. This corn's so good. This is fresh corn. Did I say that already? 25 cents. <laughs> so good. Mm. Um... What was another question? Somebody asked on my age. I'm 38. I'll be 39 this year in November. Team Sagittarius. What do I want to eat next, y'all? I'm going to eat some more of this corn. I wish I had a potato, but I'm trying to leave the potatoes alone. Yes, I'm 38 years old. Um, somebody wanted to know how did Tony and I meet? I know some of my old subscribers already know the story, but I do have a lot of new subscribers, so I don't mind telling the story. It's not like, like a romantic love story. <laughs> It's really not. Um, I'm going to put some lemon on this. Ooh, not the shell. I mean, not the seed. So, we were introduced um, we had mutual friends And I was single at the time. Obviously, he was single at the time. And one of my girlfriends said, um, you know, I have somebody I want to introduce you to. I want you to come over and, you know, meet him. So I'm like, no, you know, just give him my number and we'll talk. So he called me and um, we probably talked on the phone for about, for about three months before we actually met. Because at that time he was doing like... He was working a lot and he was helping his, um, one of his buddies had, um, a little detailing shop and he was helping him on the weekend. And that was mostly, that was like the only time that I was really free. So fast forward to when we finally decided to meet each other.
So I go to his house. I was looking so cute. Period. <laughs> and um, I go to his house. He opened the door. And I'm like, oh, you look so young. Like, because we didn't send any pictures or none of that stuff. We just would talk on the phone. That was it. So I'm like, man, he was real cute, but he looked really young because he didn't have like any facial hair ready. Really, he had like, I think he had like a mustache and just like the thin chin stripe, I think. But he looked real young. So. I was like, okay. So he was like, well, you want to, we're supposed to go get something to eat. And I ended up getting sick at his house. <laughs> like I really did get sick because I used to get really bad headaches back in the day. And if I wait too long to take something, it start making me nauseous. And so I had, I ended up having to leave, but he thought that I didn't like the way he looked, but y'all see Tony's a very attractive guy. I just told him that he looked young, but it was just like the way that happened. He thought like, oh yeah, she don't want to talk to me or whatever. But we we was talking ever since then. So that's the story, child. But y'all, when he proposed to me, when I tell y'all I was a hot mess, I kind of knew he was going to do it. But I didn't know when. Like, I did know that he wanted to marry me. Because he would always say, like, if I asked you to marry me, what would you say? I'm like, boy, I could have time for that. <laughs> but I'm like, dang, boy, why you want to give me your last name? Mm. Wipe me up. Or like we would go to the mall and we would always end up in a, a jewelry store and he would always like try to see, you know, what type of style I like or whatever. So what I used to do was, um, because at that time I had just moved out of my apartment when we met and I moved back home with my mom. And so on the weekend, I would go to his house like every weekend. So uh, I would go Friday afternoon and then I would go home on Sunday. So one Friday I come home, uh, I go to his house and he's sitting on the couch. Sweating bullets, okay? This boy was sweating. So I'm like, what's up with you, bro? Like, why you sweating like that? So he was like, <laughs> it was so he was like, sit down, we gotta talk to you for a second. So I'm like, okay. And I had no idea, like no idea that he was gonna do this. So he was like, sit down so I sat down so he stood there for a minute just smiling and stuff and I'm like what is wrong with you so then he got down on one knee and pulled the ring out it was a cute ring too this this is actually my second was it my second or my third ring my second ring so it was a cute ring So I'm like, did you ask my, my daddy? Did you talk to my parents? You know, because they didn't tell me nothing. And my, my mama, she don't know how to hold water, child. She would have spilt them beans. But he said he talked to everybody. So, and that was it. We didn't have a wedding. We just did like the reception. But that was it. 
It's just a simple little story, child. It wasn't nothing too fancy, you know. We've been together ever since, child. Let me stop this from spinning. Hold on, let me let the front. Where the button? Okay. Y'all, I'm going to do so much with this little thing because I love it. I think it's so cool. Okay. But yeah, yeah, my sister, they always say, well, you know, before um, my sister met her husband, she would always ask me, like, Tony got a brother. My other friends, Tony got a brother. He a real good guy, y'all. I'm a lucky girl. <laughs> but um, he doesn't have a brother or a sister. He is the only child. And little Tony, little Tony was his first child. Y'all know I had um. My oldest son is from a different relationship, which he's supposed to be here tomorrow. So hopefully I can get him to do a video. If not, um, if he doesn't feel like being on doing a mukbang, I can definitely um, get him on the vlog channel. For sure. Mm. Y'all, I'm getting full. I'm glad y'all didn't, y'all can't really see my, my shelves and stuff. I need the other part of my, should I eat my candy corn? I'm going to eat the rest of this corn. I got so much stuff up here, y'all. Mm. And I was eating on some of it. When I was cooking, I knew I shouldn't have did that. Here's the other half of my king crab. Y'all, it's so quiet because Tony, Big Tony went to the gym. Little Tony went to the movies to see um, Secret Life of Pets 2. With his little cousins. I wanted to see it too, but I'm going to wait for it to come out on the um, red box. Mmm. Oh, for y'all. I didn't really eat that much, though. On camera. Y'all see all my mess. All right, guys, so I hope you guys are done eating. If you're eating with me, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the next two videos at the bottom of the screen. And I will see you guys on the next video.